Hey, what's up, Buck Nation? Buck, you here. It is 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm drinking Coke and Rum. Why am I drinking this, you may ask? Little cup one, I'm a fucking madman. And two, I just had a nightmare. I had a nightmare that Mike Evans got traded to New Orleans Saints for a 14th round draft pick. That's how crazy it was. So I woke up in a cold sweat. But anywho, today I want to talk about Kyle Trask, okay? Um, and is he a Hall of Famer or bust? So Kyle Trask, you guys don't know, is our second round draft pick out of Florida. He has been the Aaron Rodgers of the NFL so far. Um, he's been backing up Tom Brady, waiting for his opportunity to shine, just like Aaron Rodgers backed up Brett Farr waiting for Rick Farr to retire so he can finally get the opportunity. Same thing with Kyle Trask. Now, a lot has been going on in OTAs right now. You know, Brady uh, left through some personal reasons. Mike Evans kind of got dinged up a little bit. Chris Gower made his triumphant return. But the one story that stuck out was Kyle Trask threw an interception to Jamel Dean. And they made this big deal about it. Now, for one, Jamel Dean is a fucking beast. I mean, anytime anybody picks off Aaron Rodgers and pick six it, they're a GOAT, right? And back to Jamel Dean, there was people clamoring when Carlton Davis was a free agent that they did not want the Buccaneers to resign Carlton Davis because they wanted Jamel Dean to get his opportunity in the sun to shine. So people thought really highly of Jamel Dean and they thought Carlton Davis peaked but they thought Jamel Dean did not even scratch the surface of his abilities, which is understandable. But because Kyle Trask did not have a good OTA or training count, people are calling him a bust. And it's upsetting in a way because these are the same fans who, when Tom Brady retired, they was like, oh, Kyle Trask, He's the future. He's our quarterback. We'd rather have Kyle Trask starting than Blaine Gabbert. Um, we might be in rebuild mode, but, you know, we like to see what Kyle Trask does. He finally gets an opportunity. He's young. You know, we want to see if he's a project or he's ready to play. Let's throw him into the Lions, to the Lions den, et cetera, et cetera. And I realize Bucks fans are, um, what's the word, are fickle. Bucks fans are fickle. I heard Daniel Bryan use that one time in WWE. I think it's to me like you guys change your mind so often, but whatever. So it had me thinking. Is Kyle Trask a bust or a, Hall of, or a potential Hall of Famer? And I think that Kyle Trask is a future Hall of Famer. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, settle down, planet Earth. Settle down, tired planet. Let me just explain first. Kyle Trask is learning behind the greatest quarterback. Matter of fact, the greatest NFL player of all time, like Aaron Rodgers, was learning behind Brett Farr, who was considered one of the, well, probably the GOAT quarterback of all time. Even he was better than Brady, but Brady was up and coming when Brett Farr was kind of retiring. He was learning behind Eric Brett Farr. Kyle Trask is learning behind Tom Brady. We know what Blaine Gabbert is or isn't. We've seen his career. He was a lottery pick for Jacksonville. He had his opportunity. He's a journeyman now. He's just cutting the check. He's 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 a, a a less he's a very bad less version knockoff brand of Ryan Fitzpatrick. Okay, that's what Blaine Gabbert is at this point. I think Kyle Trask has mega potential to lead a franchise but it's going to take some time almost kind of like you can't throw him into the wolves like they did Johnny Man like Cleveland did with Johnny Manziel you can't do that you have to do what the Kansas City Chiefs did with Patrick Mahomes 
and let him learn behind Alex Smith for a year and sure let him start the last game when you catch the playoffs to get some reps in and then if Brady retires then you go and you you know give him the reins to the team now we know Brady is notorious for not you know giving snaps to anybody he want all the snaps he want all the team's passing yards he was notorious for that in New England you know we didn't know about Jimmy Garoppolo until Brady got injured I'm oh, sorry, he got suspended for the flake gate, and then Jimmy G came in and led him to a decent record until Brady returned. But I think Kyle Trask has mega potential to lead a franchise next year if he can just learn another year, which he's going to do behind Tom Brady. And imagine if Tom Brady, well, I'm sorry, not if, but when we win the Super Bowl, what it can do for Kyle Trask's confidence. He already has a ring. Do he? Yeah, he, already, he should have a ring already. So... He's already a champion. I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I I, I, mean, I forgot what year Kyle Trask was um, drafted. Was it? Did he get drafted before or after he won the ring? But y'all let me know in the comments. I, I didn't do my research. I, just, I, had, I had a nightmare. But I think Kyle Trask can, can do something for Tampa Bay. You know what I mean? I really think he can. So let me know in the comments, guys. This is a quick video. I got to get back to sleep because I got to go. I got to work a 16-hour shift. I work my second job. And, um... Let me know how you guys think, and um, I will see you guys soon.